Hollywood Diva Season 2, Episode 1. Let me tell you something. Todd, with your broke ass, okay? <laughs> I'm just bullshitting. But Todd, you have done something right. You've done something right. This first episode of, uh, what is these folks called again? The, the, um, the Nobodies of L.A. or some shit. I don't know the name of it. Um, Hollywood Divas. This episode was funny and, sh and shit, and I really, really enjoyed it. I feel like I could watch it like three times. Funny ass shit going on. Um, I'm live from the damn camera, honey. Yes, God, I had to finish it up. I had to go on, you know, do the video in the car. It's late at night. Y'all know how it, how it is. I just, I just had to say, I finished, finally finished watching it. I was like, this shit was really good, and I want to do it tonight instead of doing it tomorrow because I'm working 10 hours tomorrow morning at my job. So let's go and get that start from the beginning. Countess. Child, she taking pictures, but what I don't know. Countess, we she, we put you in. Countess taking pictures. She got her ass all out. Of, she got everything except her stomach, and her stomach is the most shit she talking about. She she all comfortable. She comfortable with, but at the same time, Countess, you was comfortable with you a show it to her. Like uh, I I just I didn't know how to feel about that. It was cute for what she was doing, all the type of stuff. She getting comfortable with herself. I'm here for a Countess. You do your work, honey. You do your work. Um, you do your work, honey. Whatever you got to do, you want to show off that you like to eat fat back and pork rinds, girl. You do your damn shit. Um, but I didn't understand the purpose of the pictures because the pitch she had a, this fake ass sword and shit. I didn't understand why you got this sword. Like I, I didn't understand. I didn't understand the purpose of the pictures. But I guess we're gonna find out that later on in the episode. Um, Goldie walks her ass in on Malik and talking about and Malik from um whatever what his name is. Um, from Empire, and he talking all this. She talking this shit like Malik really doing some shit on Empire. Like he got a, just a major star role. Like Malik, you doing the damn thing, but it's not really. It ain't that much. Like girl, you it ain't. It ain't. It ain't that much. Like you, they can kill your ass off, and we won't miss you. You're not like a major character, girl. But it's okay, honey. You know it is what it is. You know I, I wish the best for you. Um. What else? Oh, yeah, they, they walk, Golden walk, Golden Brooks walk in, pooch on in in this damn building with these damn bars on the damn door. And he talking about some, he, he spitting game, talking about some, he working on some shit, and he about to start moving all this type of shit. Girl, let me tell you something. When I'm getting from Hollywood Divas and all these people, all these has being ass folks who have money, and people in general who feel like they um, done some type of work and like they're some type of actor or actress or like they didn't made it be, their personalities are bigger than their bank accounts. And that's what I understand. Like, you, everybody that does funny shit or, you know, entertainment, ain't going to be living this big, lavish lifestyle. Let me tell you something. Justin J., Plenty of people say I'm funny as hell. I love it. I love cracking jokes. I like. I love getting it in. I, I love doing this shit. But I'm not. I'm not living no lavish ass lifestyle, child. I'm broke as hell, just like the rest of the motherfuckers. I owe creditors and shit. I got folk calling my damn phone too. Okay, so when I see these folks try to act large in life and then they can't keep up, it's really funny because I'm like, girl, you don't have to impress anybody. Like, tell them bitch, bitch, yes. Like, you just have to be comfortable in yourself. Are you happy with yourself? You have to be comfortable with yourself and stop trying to pretend like you got it all. I was watching Lisa Wu's interview with Funkin' Out Even. You all need to check it out. It's very, very good. Funkin' Out Even did a really, really good job of cracking jokes, going in on Lisa and the other girls for staying and remaining on topic. That is the best interview I have ever seen any YouTuber done on any celebrity ever. I I was thoroughly entertained. I didn't feel like my asshole was cringing. I didn't feel uncomfortable. It was funny as hell and it kept me watching. Because we all know people watch about the first four or five minutes and they do not watch that honey. YouTube tells your ass that shit. YouTube will tell you look at them damn analytics. Chat they will humble a lot of y'all ass. Think y'all big and bad and y'all ain't if you can't keep them you can't keep them subscribers watching and you can't maintain them views, girl, you need to reassess and get your shit together. You need to reassess and find out why your subscribers are not entertained with you anymore. Um, but Funk Not Even, shout out to him. He did a really, really good job. I am so happy. Speaking of Funk Not Even, I am very excited about my move to Atlanta. Yes, I will be your boy will be in the A next week. I'm so excited. Everything goes right. Uh, you know, things change, uh, you never know, but everything's looking good at this point, um, on July the 16th, 23, 28, and I'm just so excited, and y'all just wish me well, it's very stressful, um, I've decided to sell all my damn furniture and get rid of all my shit and just start from scratch, I was gonna try to 
drive it to Atlanta, but I can't do that. I made the decision tonight after talking to a couple of folks, and it's going to be more expensive, and I'm not going to keep that furniture long anyway. So, yeah, if you're interested in buying some furniture, hit me up on Facebook. If you stay in Memphis, I'm not taking that shit nowhere else. But uh, <laughs> I might just end up getting away, but I really want to save so I can have some extra coins. Um... Uh, so go to talking to Malik and they talking about whatever. Nobody really gives a damn. Um, Golden Bruce, you can tell everybody look like they can pay their cable bill on time this week, um, this month, this season. The editing is on point. Makeup is on point. Some of the wigs were cocked to the side, side to side, like they were dancing a 7-Eleven video with Beyonce. Basic. I'm gonna get to the minute. The white sister. We we get to the we still ain't got to move the white sister. It ain't on Lifetime. It ain't on VH1. It ain't on BET after hours. After dog, it ain't no nunk shit. So where is the white sisters? Where is the white sisters? Y'all ain't gave us the white sisters yet. Where is it at? Y'all been talking about this shit, but we ain't seen no shit come. We ain't seen no shit come. You make make fruit. We ain't seen shit. So where where is it at? So um, Paula talking to her damn husband. They finally got they paid off enough bill that Ashley can take their credit. Okay, Ashley Furniture gave them a, a fruit them for forty five hundred dollars. She done bought this big ass section with no TV. Um, and they ended up just, and just just sit down talking, and she just started going. She just like you know, far as you need to get it together. Probably like far as you need to, you know, out of the mouth. Just like you need to get it together, far as and far as you're sitting his ass now. Where you far as far as come? You run my mind, boy. Far as you're sitting his ass down. Dishes ain't been washed. Mind me, my damn ex boyfriend, honey. My, Come home, you been working your ass all day, motherfucker ain't washed no dishes, ain't cooked, ain't clean, ain't did shit, ain't dishing it, pussy, ain't just doing shit. Just sitting up in the, just sitting up in the, sit up in the room, think about what you gonna do. You, this house a mess, you need to clean it up. I understand why the house was nasty. Paula J. Parker been probably double bagging um, milk and shit all day at Walmart, and you can at least clean the house up for us. So she started, Paula J. Parker started talking about this shit, then the next thing I know, all I heard her say, that the white sister has the potential to be the next empire. Paula J. Park, I don't know who wrote that script for you or that line, but you should have redacted that shit. You should not. I can't say this. You should have. I don't know why they folks be letting y'all make a fool out of yourself, Paula J. Park, but you you, you tried to goop us, girl. Empire, the white sisters don't have enough fucking relevance to be on YouTube, child. Ain't nobody checking for that shit. I ain't nobody checking for because y'all ain't giving us. Y'all ain't hyped us up. Y'all should have went on and released the shit. For the season finale or some shit. Okay? You should have read on the did there. I mean, girl, come on now. The white sister, ain't nobody checking for that boring ass shit. That y'all give me choice um 0 0.5 milligrams, girl. I'm not here for it. Um shout out to my um my girl, Miss Erica, honey. I appreciate you so much, Miss Erica. Um, Miss Erica sent me some encouraging words and a blessing or two. Um, she is a registered nurse in California, and I appreciate her so much. She uh, was telling me about all the good things in Atlanta. Just all types of blessings. Shout out to sh my girl Sherry. Shout out to my girl Sabrina for keeping me up. And shout out to my girl Kristen for getting my ass together. Just shout out to the amazing circle that I have of friends who are keeping me, you know, humble and, you know, just... just just keeping me afloat. I just really appreciate the people I have in my life. I don't have to take free pictures with friends and put up any damn thing for any type of validation. Trust and believe. I know who my real friends are, and I love them so much. That's all I got on that. Catch that dirt. Um, what else was going on? So they talking about the part of the damn what's night girl. Ain't nobody checking for the white sisters. Ain't nobody checking. And Empire girl, you know, ain't the Empire ain't girl. Not no Empire girl. A pile of shit, but not not Empire Girl. Um Emperor of the shithole or something, but not no Empire Girl. Everything except maybe Subway E Fresh, but not Empire Girl. I just it's not doing it. Um and um far as ends up telling, you know, the offer that he got for the white sister wasn't enough to buy counters for a, a a bucket of chicken. Let me tell y'all this clown encounters with these damn fat jokes, but let me tell you something. Not only is Ka uh, Countess Sister Big Bone, but I guarantee she the most person got her credit together, her coins together. She looked like she got a little bit more money than everybody else. She's still eating good. Apology apart, you ain't got enough money to get your top grill fixed. So you can't smile from her up, and you can't smile from the down. You can't do neither one of them, girl. You more fucked up out of here. Let me tell you something. When I get these coins together, bitch, I'm sure going to find somebody to do my job. I might have Dr. Heavenly, girl. 
If you can put some braces on my bottom teeth, girl, I would appreciate it, honey. But I ain't got no $800 to be right here smiling. I ain't on TV, but if I was on TV, bitch, I'd zip them hoes up with a zip cord or some shit. Because y'all ain't going to have me on TV looking a damn fool like some of y'all here. Like y'all biting on um, brick sandwiches. I can't do it. But, um, I said it wasn't enough to buy him a bucket of chicken. But it was a, a, apparently enough to buy y'all ass a couch. Because, shit, y'all been sleeping in goddamn sleeping bags for the last couple of months. So, girl, I'm glad Todd gave y'all an advancement or whatever. Um, but you need to clean up far as that house is a damn mess. So we get to triple threat, um, Elise, honey, Elise, whatever her damn name is. Um, I hate that wig. That blonde wig looked like some shit that, some cheap ass tissue. Okay. Some cheap ass tissue. Um, Elise, that shit was a fool. Matter of fact, I'm not going to talk about your ass no more because that wig was enough, honey. I, I don't know if you been in Beyonce's motherfucking trash, disposable waste ass wig collection. That's what you were giving me, and I hated it. So I'm not going to talk about your ass. Countess, um, I, I, I don't, we, we can in on you, and the first thing you start doing is start singing about some damn chicken. I want some chicken. Captain, stop being, I don't know, like, I don't want you to be the fat girl, Joe. I just, I don't want that from you. I want a little bit more from you because I feel like that's why somebody can't take you serious because you're always cracking these, these jokes and singing about chicken. You just, you kind of being, you kind of wearing, like, you, you kind of like the fat version of Cooney. Um, you're fatting or some shit. Like, you just, oh, I'm a fat motherfucker. I'm fat. Like, I eat chicken or some shit. Uh, it's just like, stop doing that. It's, it's, it's good to be, you know, joke and stuff. But I, I feel like, well, maybe since it's edited, maybe I'm getting it. But it's kind of bothering me that you're always the butt of, you know, fat jokes. And I, it's, it's kind of really, really annoying. Uh, what else was going on? What else was going on? I can't even think. Um, so... Countess, I thought it was her mama walked in, but Countess, um, a, a manager came in, and we ain't seen her yet. I guess she finally got enough coin to hire her friend. Let me tell you something. I got so much shit going on. I need to find one of my friends that'll be comfortable. I'm going to pull a candy and have their ass just get likes on Instagram and call it my manager because I ain't got no money or assistant or some shit and work the shit because I be having so much shit going on. I need a personal assistant, too. So um, she walk in, and she tell the Countess about this Tom Joyner. Um, cruise and she's talking about, and Countess had the nerve to myself. It's a bunch of celebrities. Let me tell you something. I said, Some celebrities get on the ton of uh, Fantastic Voyage, but baby, it ain't, it ain't what you think it is. Like, it ain't it ain't that type of shit. Just a bunch of black folks ready to eat and cut the fuck up and dance. Now, I've always wanted to go to Tom Joyner's one of the Fantastic Voyage thing, but I don't know if this shit gonna be for the gay folks, honey. I don't know if it's gonna be for me, honey. Um, it's a bunch of old black folks probably gonna smell, smell like Benefiber Fiber and Metamucil in that motherfucker. But I probably have a good time. They probably have some good cheap ass, um, vodka, that damn mop water shit. What's that shit they be drinking? That blue top, that Burnett's, baby. I don't drink that shit. That, that, I don't fuck with no damn Burnett's, honey. I, I saw somebody taking shots on this shit. Somebody said, this, you turn up. Bitch, you look like you just turned 21 because I don't drink no cheap ass liquor like that, bitch. I ain't finna fuck my liver up. Um, so. She talking about she can't go because her father have a stroke. I hope he's feeling better. Now. I've not heard anything, but that's some serious stuff. Um, so she said she can't go. She's just concerned about her father. So that, I could that's perfectly understandable. Um, she said she just couldn't do it. So she's gonna send Shaw. She's gonna ask Shaw about it. Um, but Shaw, um, I don't know how she would be able to do that with them girls. Cause Shaw like she got a slick mouth a little bit. And she really don't care too much. So she, I guess she's going to be the friend of the show. I guess she, you know, I, I guess that's what she's doing. So we get to Countess Vaughn's selfie party. And girl, guess who pops up? Guess who pops up, honey? Ray J. Child, Mona Scott, they rented Ray J out for the night. And, um, because he ain't had shit to do. And he up there and he hugging motherfuckers and asking for lotion and shit. And I'm just like, girl, Ray J, sit your ass down. Ray J walked in that hole like he just got to change some out of oil. And he ain't took no damn bath or wash, wash, wash his hand. He just took a sponge and just rolled his hair around. Ray J, you look real homeless. And it's not because you had the, the, the Afrocentric hair, but you just look dirty as hell. But you sex his hair. You got a big penis. And he know how to use it. Even in a um a mindless vessel like Kim Kardashian. Um, Moving on. What else was talking about? Um. Lisa Wu gets in. Lisa Wu, I, yo, yo, you give me, um, I get my city trend, city gear outfit with your big ass booty. She pushes on in, and baby, she she pulls um at least to the well, she pulls not at least Paula J. Parker ass to the side with her damn um. Yeah, I remember that damn game back in the day where it was the alligator, and you had to pull the teeth out before it closed on your hand or some shit, baby. Every time I see <laughs> Paula J. Parker. 
I be thinking about that damn game when you pull the damn tooth out. And child, this shit is so fucking funny. It is hilarious to me. So she said, we're going to talk to Elise about this shit. And Paula J. Parker like, can we do this right here? I think Paula did that because she knows she was in this. I think that's the main reason why she did not want to do it. So they continue on the party. Countess pulls the string down and all we see is her ass out. And baby, let me tell you something. That picture looked photoshopped as hell. Countess had her ass out. And a black um a black thong, honey, and that damn the damn thong was looking like a sick ass Hollister bird bitch that it was stretched out so far that it started like some of y'all eyebrows, honey. It started like some of these folk pe- walking around Memphis with these thin ass eyebrows. I saw one woman today, I thought she had some Bushido Bushido blades on her damn eyebrow. I started to take them holes off. I was shoo 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 shoo. Let me count these prescriptions. Rat tat 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 face ass. <laughs> okay, I'm I'm a fool. Child, why is Eric calling me this late at night? I'm gonna cuss his ass out. I'd answer the phone. You would call me while I'm doing a video. I'm gonna have to call you right back. I'm live. I'm gonna have to call you back. Gonna wait till the damn last minute while I'm calling me at eleven four. I'm recording a damn video, bro. You had plenty of time to call me. That's why niggas ain't shit. Y'all ain't shit. The holes and tricks. Uh, so. She showed her, her crack on her ass, and child, it was like Breaking Dawn. I thought we were watching um, Breaking Dawn, and Bella ass was about to be fried, or something about it. The vampire's about to die, child. Well, she had her ass all out. So we get through seeing that shit. They, um, they end up getting outside, and they start talking about the money, honey. Baby, they start talking about the money, and Lisa, we were getting mad like she owed the creditors, like she had bills to pay. She had already spent that money. You know how you know some money coming, and you know already spent it. You're like, damn, I got other shit to do. Baby, Lisa, we were mad as hell. She started shooting off, but at least Neil started spinning the tea. She said, no, baby, um, I didn't cut you out the pie. I didn't say, I didn't take the deal, because it was some shit going on. Um, Lisa, we had a conversation well, at least um, uh, Lisa Wu had a conversation with Paula J. Parker, regular mouth ass. And Paula J. Parker was telling her, girl, at least was trying to take all the coins, honey. And she wasn't trying to leave y'all with shit. But come to find out, Paula J. Parker ass ate all the damn pie up. Okay, her mind like a pie, um, pie ratio any damn way. So she took all the damn pie. Who did it? She took the pie. So at least said, no, nah, you ain't got me any shit. I'm going to tell you the truth, honey. So at least Lisa Wu started shooting off. She started shooting up, and Lisa said, uh-uh, I ain't finna deal that shit. I'm finna leave right now. So she pooped out. What's nice? said, well, you can walk your ass on out. Da, 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 da. They start talking some more. Child Far started walking his ass in. He, like he done stole this suit off a dead man's body at a damn funeral. You old low down, dirty, shame ass nigga. Okay. I hate, a, I hate men that wear two big ass suits. You should not be pulling your damn suit up. You shouldn't be rearranging that hoe. It needs to be fitted. Nobody wearing no big suits no more, bro. Y'all are not killing, you're carrying around no AK-47. This is not no Tony Montana type shit. Bro, cut it out. Cut it out. So they shooting off back and forth. Lisa Moo just want her damn money. And she was getting Paula J. Parker together like, you told me such and such. Paula J. Parker said, no. She didn't have nothing to say because she knows she was wrong. Oh, they're sipping that cheap ass motherfucking wine, that cheap ass champagne. Le- What's the name? Paula J. Parker, you full of shit, bro. You full of shit. And... Lisa Wu called your ass out on this shit. And then, child, here come Counter Fun tumbling down the damn steps like a weeble, talking about some damn. Ch- I want my chicken! Bruh. Nah, bruh. Nah, bruh. But, I hope they get this money shit situated. Because, baby, look, it's going to be turned up, baby, when all I remember from, from the preview for this season is. <laughs> what? Why did he say what? <laughs> Baby, Far is going to be shooting off and I'm here for it. Far is going to be shooting off and I'm here for it. I am here for it. But that's all I got. I love this episode of uh, Hollywood D. It's funny as